my name is Kavi Arya. I am a faculty in the computer science department and I would like to spend just 10 minutes with you just explaining to you some uh, work that we are doing here and how your uh, engineering colleges could participate in this program. So, essentially I teach a subject called embedded systems which is if you like a cross uh, disciplinary uh, subject which has uh, uh, a bit of mechanical engineering, lots of uh, computer science and electronics in it and stuff like that. Basically, it, it deals with uh, computers where you do not see an explicit uh, machine with a keyboard and stuff like that. So, what is inside your mobile phone is an embedded system and uh, so on. So, we found that in trying to teach this through the distance education program, it was very difficult because unless somebody has programmed a device where lights flash and things move, they do not believe that they learnt anything. So, over the last 5 years, we came up with what we thought was a nice answer. We thought that let us teach this through robotics and robotics become makes it even more exciting because in robotics you have to deal with mechanics and composite materials and electronics and software and so on right. And also it reflects what the real world is out there because nobody tells you that hey here is a problem this is an electronics problem, this is a software problem, this is this problem. A problem is a problem and you have to solve it whichever way you want right. Nowadays you do not get buys anymore right. The time is ripe for somebody some entrepreneur to build a jhadu pocha robot you know for 5000 rupees. I will buy it, but most of our engineers out there do not think like that. They will think can I buy it from abroad net search karte hai, rumba milega, both mehenga hai, so it will not last in the Indian environment. Oh you cannot get it abroad, theek hai, end of problem. Very few people will say that hey let us build one here. Okay. So, what we are trying to do is trying to create a culture of students who will actually get that mentality and say chalo let us build this or let us build that. Agriculture is another problem. Due to NREGA, this rural employment guarantee scheme, migrant labor is not available anymore, right? And agriculture has such hostile working environments, it is a ripe place to have robots. And robots need not be rocket science, they can be simple jugad kind of robots, right? So, we are trying to spread these, these ideas, and we found something which is very, very effective uh, in helping us do this. It is a robot we called. Uh, the firebird robot now we have given it a name and we have a project from MHRD which we have termed E Yantra where we are taking this robot and introducing it into engineering colleges. So, people can use this kids can use this as a basis for projects and to make your uh, teaching more interesting. So, like for instance in our embedded course last semester students did about a large number of projects. So, I will just show you a small video of the sorts of things they do with this robot. This is just a small robot that can sense distance and all that it can uh, it follows white lines due to uh, sensors below it. Actuation is through DC motors and you have various avatars of this robot. The same brain sits on different actuation platforms. One is just two wheels right and the other is six legs. Instead of uh, driving two uh, DC motors, we can drive up to 18 servo motors. So, you can make a hexapod with six legs. So, this just shows you after uh, introduction to this robot what these students can do with it right. And all the gyan that you need to actually program this robot we can deliver to you in a capsule form in 2 days. If you know a little bit of uh, microcontroller programming and if you know C programming we will teach you how to use this robot in 2 days. So, at the moment our e yantra project is call faculty give them a 2 day workshop send them back with a robot each and then they can start the culture there and then we are doing more things. So, I will I will talk to you about that. Uh, in this uh, project, uh, we aim to make, a, make a, the Firebird 5 hexapod uh, write out shapes and letters. Now, started writing out the letter O. This is one of the robots. So, you can see that it has uh, written, out a, uh, written out the letter O in a C. So These are the earlier attempts in which we have letter. written the letter yeah. H E X. It is a start. We did a project called building a hexapod with wave locomotion robot. application. Here they build. In this uh, project, we designed various tasks for this hexapod. Now, the hexapod will climb this obstacle and then perform various dance moves on the top of this obstacle. It climbs the stair, right? Then they said, let us do something interesting when it goes on top there, right? 
what is the interesting thing that it can do? Students, you know, that's the kind of stuff that they enjoy. <laughs> Then they want to reproduce that image on paper. So they capture an image, do image processing with MATLAB, vectorize the image and use that vector to guide this little robot and then they built a small mechanical assembly to put down a pen and lift it and stuff like this. So they can draw that. And I said that look to make it look more impressive, use a image of something people can recognize. So they've used a Ganpati, a very simple Ganpati here, you know. So here as you can see, they've drawn the Ganpati. Now, what we are encouraging is for students to use previous batches of projects. Okay. The project which we have developed is yes, uh, these guys took an Android phone using and used Android it to control phone, a robot. Has a Android and phone has uh, accelerometers and all that inside it. Tilt the mobile in forward Center. direction. So they can tilt the phone and guide the robot. The robot starts moving in the forward direction. When I turn it left, turns left, if I turn it right, it will turn right. We have made a hand gesture controlled uh, wireless vehicle. So this is a hand gesture. This is a globe some and we are controlling the, hand and the can firebird control robot, the robot using this globe. Okay. So I will stop you here. I, I, I won't take up too much of your so this is a three of about 20 uh, projects that the students did in last, last sem. So about we have 80 students in the class, four to a project and they deliver 20 of these kind of projects, right? This one is a tennis ball collector robot. It takes an arm, does some image processing with a onboard camera, goes and picks up balls. It will stop at a distance of 10 centimeters from the fault and now as you can see uh, the robot scans for a blue basket. It looks for a blue basket and, and as soon as, it, puts the ball as, soon as it, it sees a blue basket it will go towards it and drop okay. it. Fine, I will I'll do projects and what we are encouraging is for students to use previous projects and build on them. Normally I used to go to engineering colleges and we noticed that students want to do some robotic project. Kya hota hai? Robot market mein nahi milta hai. So they build the robot and by the time they built the robot, phook nikal gai, time is over, report likke nikalo, right? And what you have is a half finished robot there. And the next year somebody else wants to do a robotic project. Again he starts the same manjan and nothing to show for it at the end of it. So this we have turned the robot into a commodity item. Right? So you can now buy the robot, it is open source, everything and you can, for us the challenge is given this ball pen which is the robot, I want to write some interesting story. I can also take somebody else's story and make it even more interesting. Right? So that is the whole, uh, whole uh, thinking here. So I will not go into the, uh, these uh, slides of mine. So we have a Yantra program where we have four stages. Right? So if you are college is interested in participating in this program, we have just got a big pot of money from MHRD now, right? You can first become a participant. That means two of your colleagues can come here to attend a workshop. We will look after the local costs. That means putting you up for two days, khana pina, this, that and the other. And we will give you all the material, teaching material, everything when you go back, right? So you can over two days learn how to use this. And we require you to know only programming and a bit of microcontroller programming. Next step, if you want to advance this more, we can make you an associate, which means that you will host this workshop at your college and you will invite the local colleges, the faculty and all that uh, to the workshop and our team will come and teach, right? And uh, we will pay all the costs, right? Putting them up, khana pina, everything. Third is that you can become a remote center where you will teach, you will organize, you will do everything and we will fund all the expenses for it. So we can also bring you into this program as a participant where if you want some seed funds to build a new kind of robot or do some interesting research or develop some new course material, right? Say if somebody has got uh, control systems knowledge and he wants to use this robot in a control systems course. If he's work, 
if he is willing to invest time we will give them an honorarium which can be worked out right. And if you are a local coordinator organizing the workshop we can give you a bit of honorarium there also right. And we encourage you to have these to, to hold these workshops for students to start student clubs and we can work out the details of this. But this is what this project is all is all about to spread this culture to create a national cadre of people who can build interesting machines right. So, um, any questions I I will stop here I think I have taken enough time. Go and tell your friends about it that is why I am telling you. Okay. Email ID is e yantra e hyphen yantra let me see if it is in this yeah just go to uh, e hyphen yantra dot org org e hyphen yantra dot org. E yantra e hyphen yantra dot org or e yantra at CSE dot IITB dot AC dot in. My name is Kavi Arya. Right. In CSE department. Right. And uh, and Kavi dot Arya is my own email address in case you need to contact me or not receiving a response or whatever it is. But through the eantra website you will get everything. In fact, all the projects we have done to date we have packaged them nicely put all the documentation source code video everything is up on the website right. So, to seed these things in your in your own colleges any questions ok. So, tell your friends about us and hopefully we can do something interesting together ok I will stop here thanks.